Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at the Resurrection Remix ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI9010. That's the international variant of course. So I'm going to do a review of the Resurrection Remix ROM and take a closer look at it. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys, so we've got here the Resurrection Remix ROM. As you can see, it looks very familiar to the vanilla Android experience you're getting on the Nexus 4. But this is the Android, this is the Resurrection Remix ROM, which has additional uh, options and tweaks and bonuses. And um, of course, it's an AOKP ROM, so it has, again, additional stuff. So the Resurrection Remix ROM has been around for quite some time. The last update for the Resurrection Remix ROM was released last January. And the developer has stated that he's returning back into the game and he's going to be releasing a new update soon. So firstly, there seems to be a keyboard issue with the Resurrection Remix ROM in which that whenever you restart or reboot your Resurrection Remix ROM, um, the keyboard doesn't work. So you have to go to settings and head over to language import. And of course, you've got to disable hardware physical keyboard. And I don't know why this keeps on going on, despite I keep on turning it off several times. So first of all, so I'm oh, sorry, not first. So secondly, let's check out the settings of the Resurrection Remix ROM. We've got ROM control, which is part of the AOKP. Again, this is based on the AOSP with additional options. So we've got general UI, we can change, we can um, add a custom boot animation, disable it. Um, add notification counts, uh, play around with the status bar uh, brightness slide. As you can see, if I head to the left, the brightness decreases. If I head to the right, it increases. That's pretty cool and I like that. So you have enable kill all button, recent, uh, recent, recent RAM bar, etc. So moving on to the lock screen, it can change. You can add a lock screen battery percentage, volume music controls, etc um, power menu which is pretty cool now we've got all of this we're going to have torch we're going to have airplane mode you can play around the navigation bar controls here and i find the torch mode pretty useful during you know brownouts or blackouts here in the philippines so we've got a navigation bar which we can enable so it adds a navigation bar the bottom similar to the nexus 4 and the nexus 7. see it works but of course it's going to ruin your, you know, it's going to add space to your screen. So I'm going to remove it. Uh, we can add the battery. I've got the battery icon style here, which is a circle mod. Hopefully it will focus. There it is. You can see there are different battery icon styles. You can play around with that. You can change the battery bar location also. And the clock, as you can see, I've got it in the middle. You can play around with the style. Clock style, center, right clock, no clock at all if you wish. And if you click that clock, it will be brought on to another menu. It can be your, I believe it can be your calendar or clock settings. Again, you've got so many options here. So we've got uh, signal. You can play around with the signal uh, display here. Status bar toggles, LED, which I don't understand why it's here because there isn't much of an, is there any LED in the Samsung Galaxy S2? Anyway, sound, you can play around with that. Additional sound options, vibrations. You can create your own vibrations, which is pretty cool. So let's head over. Of course, you can add themes since, this, since it's an AOKP ROM. And of course, with the resurrection settings, you can update it to the latest resurrection uh, uh, build. And there'll be a notification which will pop up. Device options, you can play around with the Samsung Galaxy S2 device options. Current on performance, guys, please, if you don't want to ruin your Samsung Galaxy S2, don't head over here, don't play around with it. You can really mess it up and if you like to wish, if you wish to use it for a long time, don't touch any of this. You can overclock, underclock your CPU, change your voltage, your GPU frequency and a lot more. Check it out, CPU, screen, sound. I don't like to touch it because I don't want to ruin my Samsung Galaxy S2. I have the file manager, the sound preferences here. You can play around with that. It's something similar to Beats Audio, call settings, and of course the usual uh, settings for your Android. Um, battery life is pretty average. You can get a whole day of usage on it uh, with mobile data, you know, with uh, Wi-Fi, watching a YouTube video, checking out your social media streams. It's pretty normal. And let's check out, I forgot to show you guys the about page. 
So as you can see, it is 4.2.1 because that's the latest version the developer worked on. That's the current baseband version. And we've got the kernel, as you see, as you can see, it's a SIA kernel, which is edited and made it made into a Doryman X kernel, AOKP 4.2.1, of course, Resurrection Remix version 3.1.3. So that's basically about it. We've got two launchers on the phone. We've got the Nova launcher, which is my favorite. You can change the icons down here and you can go through each screen like that, which I love the transitions. The other no launcher is called the Apex uh, launcher. So that's basically about it. If you've got any questions, any queries, or if you're hesitant to, f to install a new ROM, or if you want me to review or check out a different ROM, feel free to post them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to Subscribe to Wired Mash and visit, of course, wiredmash.com for the latest tech, geeky news, and uh, for the latest Samsung Galaxy S2 guides. And most of all, thanks for watching.